Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you today? I hope my friends are always healthy and happy. In this video we will watch Nano's activities. What do Nano do? Okay, don't go anywhere friends. Watch this video until the end. Don't skip it. Enjoy watching guys. Wow, it's really dark tonight. It looks like it will rain soon in this place. Lightning has appeared. I have to immediately go home to the boarding house so I can take shelter. Thank goodness I arrived at the boarding house safely and had not been hit by rainwater. I became curious about this rain. What is rain actually? How does the rain process occur? Okay, I'll look for it on the internet. Yes I got it. Rain is a form of precipitation that occurs when water droplets from clouds reach the Earth's surface. The process of rain starts with the evaporation of water from the Earth's surface, such as rivers, lakes, seas, or moist soil, forming water vapor in the atmosphere. This water vapor then rises into the atmosphere and cools down when it reaches cooler layers of air at a certain altitude. When the water vapor cools down, it condenses back into tiny droplets that form clouds. When these droplets become heavy enough, the cloud can no longer support them, and the water droplets fall to the earth as rain. The size and intensity of rain can vary, ranging from drizzle to heavy rainfall or thunderstorms. Heavy rainfall can lead to floods and landslides, while a lack of rain over an extended period can result in drought. Rain plays a crucial role in the Earth's water cycle. It provides the necessary water for plant growth, fills and replenishes rivers and lakes, and helps maintain the planet's temperature balance. Evaporation is the process of changing a liquid into a gas below its boiling point. This process occurs when the particles of a liquid acquire enough energy to overcome the attractive forces and escape from the liquid's surface to form a gas. Evaporation is a significant method in the natural water cycle, where water from the Earth's surface, such as rivers, lakes, and oceans, evaporates into water vapor and later forms clouds that can then come back to the Earth's surface as rain or snow through the processes of condensation and precipitation. Several factors influence the rate of evaporation, including temperature, air humidity, wind speed, and the surface area of the liquid. Higher temperatures lead to faster evaporation because the liquid's molecules have higher kinetic energy. Low air humidity also increases evaporation rates because dry air can hold more water vapor. High wind speeds carry away water vapor from the liquid's surface, speeding up the evaporation process. Additionally, the larger the liquid's surface, the more water can evaporate. Evaporation has various practical applications in everyday life, such as the evaporation of water to separate dissolved substances, drying clothes under the sun, and cooling the body through sweat. It is also used in various industries, such as in the production of salt from seawater and the manufacture of sugar from sugar cane juice. Condensation is one of the processes of changing the phase of matter from a gas to a liquid. This process occurs when a gas loses heat energy and then transforms into a liquid. Condensation is the opposite of evaporation, which is the phase change process from liquid to gas. When a gas cools down, its particles lose their kinetic energy, motion energy, and the distance between these particles becomes closer. Consequently, the attractive forces between the particles become strong enough to keep them together in the form of a liquid. This often happens when water vapor in the air encounters a cold surface, such as a window pane on a chilly morning when dew forms. Dew is an example of condensation in nature. Another example of condensation is the formation of clouds in the atmosphere. When water vapor rises into the atmosphere and reaches a certain altitude, the surrounding air cools down, causing the water vapor to condense into tiny droplets that form clouds. In chemistry, condensation also refers to a chemical reaction where two molecules or atoms react together to form a larger molecule, while releasing a molecule of water or another compound as a byproduct. This process often occurs in organic compound synthesis in chemical laboratories. Precipitation is the process in which water in various forms falls from the atmosphere to the Earth's surface. This includes all types of water falling from the sky, such as rain, snow, sleet, dew, and acid rain. Precipitation is one of the key elements in the Earth's hydrological cycle, which involves the movement and distribution of water on the planet. Here are some common forms of precipitation, rain. This is water in liquid form that falls from the sky in droplets. Rain usually occurs when water vapor in the air condenses into water droplets and then merges to form drops large enough to fall to the earth. Snow, 
Snow is precipitation in the form of ice crystals that form snowflakes. These crystals join together in clouds and fall to the earth as ice particles. Snow often occurs in very cold climates and can create layers of snow that cover the earth's surface. Sleet. Sleet is frozen rain that occurs before reaching the earth's surface. It happens when rainwater rapidly cools as it passes through layers of freezing air. When it reaches the earth's surface, it can be in the form of ice pellets. Dew. Dew is precipitation that occurs when water vapor in the air condenses directly onto solid objects or plants during the night. This happens when the temperature drops at night, and objects on the surface become cold enough to condense water vapor. Acid rain. This is a type of precipitation produced by air pollution, especially emissions of toxic gases such as sulfur dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen oxides, nitrogen oxide. These gases react with water in the atmosphere forming sulfuric acid and nitric acid that eventually fall to the earth as acid rain. Acid rain can have negative impacts on the environment and ecosystems. Precipitation is a vital element in maintaining the balance of ecosystems in the water cycle on earth. It replenishes water sources such as rivers, lakes, and reservoirs and provides much needed water for plant growth and living organisms. The nature and types of precipitation can vary depending on temperature, atmospheric conditions, and geographic region. Storage in lakes, rivers and seas, water collected from precipitation, infiltration, and surface runoff is ultimately stored in rivers, lakes, and seas. Lakes and rivers act as short-term water storage, while oceans are the largest long-term water storage on Earth. That's today's nano activity friends, hopefully it's useful for increasing our knowledge. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Bye bye. See you in the next video.